Well, hello there, internet people. Today I'm gonna demonstrate how to make a fire for barbecue with, uh, with this. This is a sheet magnifier. They're useful for making fires for barbecues if it's like a windy day because the sun uh, or the wind doesn't uh, bother, your, bother your fire, your fire making when you're, when you're using the sun. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I have these leftover uh, charcoals that were burnt from the last fire that I made. And I like to save these uh, because they, um, they're already partially burnt and they're easy to, they're easy to, to light up especially with a magnifying glass. Okay, so let me show you what I do. I'll get about three of them, maybe four, but at least three. And this works on a sunny day if it's not, uh, if it's not too cloudy. Okay, and I usually like to wear a pair of sunglasses when I'm doing this. Uh, because uh, this this does uh, magnify the uh, the light quite a bit, but it doesn't take too long to get going. So watch, here we go. And what I like to do is once I have the spot, I turn my gaze away from the light, and I just kind of use my peripheral vision to to do this. And it's probably done there, but it's good to do overkill. So I'm gonna leave this on another 20 seconds or so. Now because there's so much light from the sun right now, it may be difficult to see if this caught on fire, but well, we'll see, we're doing our best. Okay, let's try. Take my hat off, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, it's already glowing. It's very hot. When you do this, you kind of want to close your eyes so you don't get a lot of uh, ash in your eyes. All right. Now, if you notice, I've got twigs of different sizes arranged close by where I can get to them. So I'm going to start with the smallest twigs that I've got. And I'm trying to make like a like a little TP looking structure.
keep getting some small twigs. Yeah, watch the light, there it goes. So I call this a solar fire because I didn't use any chemicals. No lighter fluid, no matches. I didn't even use a block of magnesium. So on a real sunny day when there's not a lot of clouds, you can pull this trick off. And I keep one of these sheet magnifiers in my car at all times. And I also have a, a little pouch that I carry different odds and ends for cooking. Uh, and I usually keep that in my car also. And I have another sheet magnifier in there just in case. So whenever I want to have a barbecue and I just have my car, I have all the materials to, uh, to make a barbecue. And this doesn't take that long. And with a little bit of practice, you get pretty proficient at making these kind of fires. So... So there you go, a uh, fire with a little bit of coal from the previous fire, you know, a sheet magnifier, and some twigs ready to go. Alright, let's go on to the next part, making some food.